right guys we are back and now this video has been requested much more than my first video regarding how to get platinum free easy this is gonna be part two now let's get to it and or this is talking all type of crap I really don't care <laughs> go away go away there you go all right so Pretty much what you want to do, like I usually do when I want to sell some of my stuff, I want to check to see what I actually have because you can't give away what you don't have. So, I usually check through my stuff. You know, I see an Ash chassis, systems, helmet, and I believe, I don't think I have a blueprint as of yet, so I can't say, you know, I'm going to give away an Ash set with no blueprint, and the blueprint is the most important component for any type of set if you want to sell as far as warframes, weapons, secondaries, you know, and the like. So, looking through my stuff, I see what I have, see what I don't have, and at the same time, if I have one of something, that I gotta watch it, because, you know, I like to have at least two things of everything. Like, for example, if I had two Rhino Prime Blueprints, I could say, alright, I could sell a set, keep one for myself, probably go back to farming, get more stuff that way, you know the whole nine so I look through myself see what I have as far as with how much which is like at least two three four whatever now you can also go through your foundry see what you have there but obviously this just shows you as far as with weapons the parts that you have obviously I have a bow prime set on me bow to a prime set Brayton I have a bursting I could sell a Bronco prime if I want to I do have a set for the carrier because I sold that a couple days ago. So I'm just missing the Cerebrum. You know, Darkra, I already sold the sets that I had for that. I've just been having the blades. I don't have a handle. You know, I could probably buy a, buy a handle off of somebody and then sell it as a set that way. You know, dual common prime, missing handles. Fine. I still have Ember Prime helmets, so I could probably sell those off. You know, you got to look to see what you have as far as what you could sell. Because it's like I said before, you cannot sell what you don't have. So now I'm looking through my stuff and whatnot. So pretty much this is just me going through my stuff, seeing what I could sell and what I can't sell. Now, the other things that I like to be selling is also mods. You can also sell sell rare mods, mods. See what you have to sell. And you could go on from there. Now, here is the main key when it comes to going into trading and trying to sell your stuff pay attention to what the people are asking for at a particular time in in situations depending on the day you know the time or as far as with warframe with what's going on for what's coming later on or what's out now you gotta pay attention as far as what people want as far as with them wanting to buy something or in this case if they're trying to sell something well, in your case, you want to sell the stuff you have in order to make plat. Now, let's go to the training thing. As you can see, I'm just going to scroll up just a tad bit so you can see. Some dude saying want to sell Spoil Strike in High Noon. All right, he's trying to sell something there. You know, he's selling the Rhino Prime set for 120 The reason why he's selling it for that is because, as we, we all know, or if most people know, Rhino Prime is going to be the next Prime to go. It's going to be Rhino Prime, Bolto Prime, and Ancreos Prime. So those are the things that are going to be selling. Well, <laughs> it's going to be selling in the trading. But at the same time, those are going to be the stuff that's going to be taken out of the void. So they're going to have value. So you could sell your Rhino Prime sets if you want to. Or you could wait to when he is gone from the void just with the Bolto Prime and Ancreos Prime. And they'll have more value that way because they'll be gone from the void. So, moving right along. This dude wants to buy Ember Prime Blueprint. He just needs 207, 207 plat, trade anything, whatever. You know, Bolt up, um, what you call it, Boar Prime Barrel. He wants to buy Overextended. You know... Nova, that's another thing with Nova Prime, since how her systems are so hard to get from playing Orc and Derelict Survival, her systems is so valuable, and then at the same time, right behind it is the chassis, then obviously you have Blueprint and Helmet. Helmets are so easy to get, the Blueprint you'll get, 
but the chassis and obviously more important the systems for Nova, yeah, she's going to run like at least 120, 130 if you're selling as a set. So it's a good thing to go and grab her, farm for her, you know, do whatever. Now, as you can see, a lot of people are selling their stuff. They just want to sell, sell. So you got to pay attention as to what people want to buy. Make sure you have what they want because you don't want to say to them, you know, that you have it and then when you go into your foundry or check in your inventory and you see all your stuff you don't have it so make sure you have it this dude wants to buy Loki Prime cheap you know he's being specific but at the same time what person is gonna sell Loki Prime for cheap and at the same time people trying to get plat um Nova Prime helmet 5 plat you know it's so easy to get, so five plat is is reasonable for for the helmet because it's so easy. Um, just gonna keep going right there. Um, as far as with the mods that I have, okay, for example, Berserker people would want that, and also for Warframes. Let me see here. I'm just gonna try and find another mod that people, yeah, if you want to stock up on it, is good. Rage. People want rage in their builds and whatnot. So here's what I'm gonna do. Same thing like I usually do <laughs> and the same thing I did like in, in, in my part one, which is you know how to get plat for free. Just put want to sell rage. I'm just gonna put you know fifteen plat. You could be specific or you could just leave it like that. Want to sell Rage and Berserker. Now, you could put it as a bundle for like, you could say 30 plat. So obviously the people would know, it's like, okay, it's 15 plat a piece. Or you could just leave it like so. So, what I'll do is I'll just have it like this. 30 plat and then say 15 plat each. So, you could do it like that. So, I'm just going to put that in there. Let it sit, obviously. Let it bear, obviously. Because, you know, you can't spam the trading chat. Because, you know, <laughs> you got to give other people a chance. So, while that's there, I'm going to go around and see what else that I could sell. I could try and sell this redirection if anybody wants it. Um, What else? I can spell. I can sell my speed. Um, sell my speed drift mod. Um, what else? I can sell vigor. There's people actually out there that want vigor because you know it drops in alerts. Um, you can also move over to primary. See what else you can have here. You can sell. You know, if you have blaze, you can sell blaze. Combustion beam, I actually sold that yesterday for 40 plat. Also, you know, I got this double drift from battling one of those freaking dudes in the Oaken tile set on moon, on earth. So, you know, you can sell that. I got full contact here. I could sell this. Okay. These are like one of the impact mod sets that, you know, came out obviously last year. Um... Oh, see, here's another one right there. He wants to try and get Boltor Prime. So, go to his name. You got to be quick about this. So, obviously, I saw it a little late. So, let me see if I could try and get this dude. Boltor Prime set. So, you got to keep an eye out. Look to see what people want. And see if you can try to capitalize on it. So, it's really nothing much to it. It's all a matter of patience waiting and at the same time look to see what you have like i said i don't know if i'll be able to catch that dude because i saw him late you know got hell's chamber malignant force could just, could just sell that for like 10 or 15 it don't matter prime point blank prime rifle have a mutation shotgun you know whatever rare mods that are the thing sell them if you have extras just sell them <laughs> That was I'm getting invites. Just gonna deny that shit. 
So obviously I couldn't catch this dude in time. So you know I'm just gonna close the tab. So move right along. People selling Vulpin Mask, the new stance mod for the Destreza. Prime Continuity 15 Plat. Obviously, because the trader has it, you know, people are trying to get it for less. Do what you gotta do. And oh yeah, here's another dude that wants to get Boltor Prime, so. Let me see if I can catch this guy. Uh, let's see. <laughs> See, he responded, 25 plat. Could say, yeah, but I know how much it's worth. So, what I'll do is, I'm just going to say, you know, no thank you. Too low. I already know how much it's really worth. You could get more out of it, trust me. I sold my, my freaking set for 50. So, yeah. And at the same time, when the Bolto Prime leaves, more value. So, I'm thinking of the 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 longer road down ahead and it'll pay off later on. So you know, just keep moving right along. Also you can also sell some Kubro mods, you know, bite is right up there. You know just sell anything that is rare. Rare mods, or as it's like to say, gold mods. Because more appealing, more attractive, more tension. So here's what I'll do. I want to sell Max Crash Course 200. Just, just, you know, just throwing it out there. I could have left it open, but I have it at 200. Now someone may just respond to me and say 150, so they'll devalue my 200 by 50 plat. Try to get it for 150. You know, I mean, <laughs> on the PS4, they want to devalue everything, and at the same time, they know how much it's worth. So you got to play that that game. And at the same time, like I said, I play chess, not checkers, when it comes to trading. So I know what stuff is worth and what stuff is not really worth until later on. So you got to be on your P's and Q's when it comes to the trading, and especially with these people, because some of them are real asses, and they just want to, you pretty much want to say, swindle you out of something because they know how much it's worth, and at the same time, they will sell it back to somebody else for double the price that you trying to sell to him. So, yeah, this dude wants to buy narrow-minded. Let me see, where's his name? I'm just gonna put narrow, narrow-minded. Narrow-minded, I have an unranked one and I have a maxed out one, if I remember correctly. So if he wants a maxed out one, I'll ask him, you know, offer or whatever. Let me see, yeah, I have a maxed out one and an unranked one. So I could pretty much mess with this one in some of my builds. So I could still get rid of this one and, you know, still have an unranked one left and I could pretty much mod it to where you know it'll be really good as far as with the stuff I have so let me see he says prime stuff obviously he has no plat but he wants to trade so now I'm just gonna go through the whole thing right here so I'm gonna say to him what do you got so obviously he's gonna tell me what he got and whatnot, and then it'll be up to me as far as what he has. I could just say I want this and this. And if you give me this and this, you could get my narrow minded. So I'm just gonna play. I'm <laughs> not play. I'm gonna see what he has. Like I, I keep saying, like it's a little bit of a game. You gotta play chess with these guys, not checkers. So I'm gonna see what he has to offer me. And if he's going to try and convince me by putting something there that will pique my interest, most likely not because most of the stuff I already have. He says, invite me. Oh, he said he'll show me. This is another thing some people like to do, which is, you know, cool. So I'm going to invite him and he'll show me what he has. This is... I think this is one aspect that I didn't obviously get to in my first part of, you know, how to get free plat. 
because no one got to this position where they said show me so it's a good thing you're seeing this live this ain't no BS type thing where it's like, oh, you know, he cut out of it and all that stuff. No, I'm giving it to you raw. <laughs> no cut, no cut out, no edit, none of that. Same thing like in the in, in part one. I showed you raw type stuff. All right, so pretty much I'm in the dojo now. I'm going to go invite him. And if you're wondering what dojo this is, oh, yeah, Ruteno, my boy. Rude Richie. I salute you, brother. <laughs> I salute you, brother. Um, hmm, oh, brother. Ronan Robbins here. I'm just standing there. Alright. Um, so, yeah. I'm just going to wait on wait on Coolio. I think that's his name. His name's Coolio. Uh, is he coming? And... Most migration, Jesus. I gotta send him another invite. <laughs> Cause now with the host migration, if he was this if he was coming, he'll be stuck in space. So I'm gonna wait for this host migration thing to end and I'm gonna re invite him. So let's see how this is gonna play out. I hate when it goes to the host migration because it usually fucks up shit. Especially when you're trying to trade with somebody, you're in the trade thing and you're in the midst of getting some plat, and then boom, host migration kicks in. And you're like, what the hell just happened, you know, so. I mean, this situation is really not all that bad, because he just, he just showing me something. Showing me his stuff. So, I'm just going to be waiting for this host migration thing to end. So I can get back to the dojo and send another invite. All right, here we go. I don't even know if he's even in here. Yeah, see? Invite me again. See? He was stuck in space. <laughs> so. And it probably kicked him back to his ship anyway, so I'm just going to send him another invite. Hopefully, he'll come this time instead of the whole host migration thing. Just pretty much have him in stasis. <sighs> so, I'm just going to keep doing backflips. Until he gets here. Yeah. Dodging grenades. Yeah. Alright, here he comes. He's gonna be coming in sometime soon. It's gonna be I'm gonna take my position. As soon as he see him as soon as he starts to move, that's when I'll just think, okay, he's moving. Alright. Alright. Now he has to show me what he has. So let me see what he has. He just has to put stuff there. I'm gonna be like, okay, show me. I could just give him the unranked one and call it there. So, let me see. Oh my gosh. Carrier Prime Blueprint, Ancreos Prime Blueprint, Paris Prime. Garbage stuff. <laughs> it really is for a narrow mind. Oh, and there goes Host Migration yet again. I mean, it's, it's garbage stuff that he's giving me. For a narrow minded, and it's like, I'm, 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 as soon as he finishes, unless he has better things, but if that's all he's planning on giving me, I'm just gonna say, No, thank you, leave the dojo, it'll kick him too. So, let me see, it should bring us back to where we were because we were in the midst of the trading thing. So, let me see if it actually puts us back. Coolio's still there. Okay, so yeah, we can still resume. All right. All right. Continue to show me. Or I'm going to say, is that all? Oh, he has a Loki chassis. Okay, that, he piqued my interest there. Oh, the Nala Prime Wings. The only thing that I see there is the Loki Prime chassis. <laughs> That's the only thing I see. So... I'm going to say to him, is that all? If he says that's all, I mean, the only thing I see is the Loki Prime chances, and I already have enough of those, and I can still, I can always get Loki Prime chances, but 
I don't think the chassis is worth my narrow minded. <laughs> and you know, he just has the other four stuff. Is it? I have more. Okay, show me. He has the blueprint for Loki. Bolter. Ooh, now that's something there. Okay, he has Bolter Prime Receiver. Don't need. I don't need the systems for Knicks. I had at least twenty-two of those. Vasto Prime Receiver. Okay, keep going. Let me see what else he has. Vec. If it was a receiver, I would have been like, I. All right. So. Hmm. I'm going to say anything else. Oh, he says that's all. Hmm. All right. Now, see, the receiver is what I'm lacking as far as with the bolt or prime sets that I'm trying to get. So here's what I'm going to do for the sake of the video. I'm going to say I'll take... Loki... Prime Blueprint Chassis and Boltor Prime Receiver. Deal? Now, this is obviously not getting plat per se, but he's giving me components that is worth plat. So, I'm going to wait for him to get rid of the Nyx, Vasto, and the, Ve and the Ve uh, Vectus Prime Barrel. Leave the Blueprint, leave the Chassis, get rid of those three, and put the Boltor Prime Receiver. And I'll give him my Narrow Minded. Okay. He pretty much put those down. So, what I'll do here, I'll give him my narrow minded. So, I'll just do this. Wait, where's my number? Okay, there it is. I'll give him my narrow minded. So, he said, let's trade. Well, there it is. Okay. <laughs> so, I'll just have it like that. Because the receiver is is obviously the hardest part to get because T4 survival. And it's obviously rotation B, but you already know how RNG is. It, it, it won't drop, and you keep trying to go farther and farther. You're like, ah, oh, crap. <laughs> you know, you get owned, killed, and then you're like, ah, oh, let's go and try to do it again. So, now that I have that, let me see. I'm going to say, want to sell... Boltor Prime Set. I'm just gonna say 45 plat for the time being. I'm gonna see if someone is gonna actually want it. And at the same time, I have a receiver, so you know. But you could do trades, which will lead you to more plat, but it depends on the trade. See, like right there, the only thing I said that piqued my interest was the Loki Prime Chassis. He obviously put the blueprint down, which is like, you know, okay. But then the Boltor Prime Receiver. I'm going to need that for the Boltor Prime sets that I'm building. And obviously, you know, going to sell down the road. So, let me see if... Oh, look. He says me. <laughs> you want Boltor Prime? <laughs> he just says me. I mean, that, that's a that's a first for today. He just says me. Usually someone will say I'll buy, you know. But I'm gonna see if he if he wants it. So it's gonna play the weight, and at the same time, just gonna be looking on to see if anything else that is going on in the trading. Some people will obviously sell gold cores, stances. You can also sell stances. Stances are worth a good penny. Um, 
What else? What else? What else? Oh yeah. When the time comes, if I could put it, when I get the chance to put it in, I'll be like, you know, with the other shit. It is not necessary anymore. Close tab, move on. Brain prime receiver for barrel. He wants to trade. At least he's specific in what he wants. It is not necessary anymore, but thank you. But, you know, whatever. No problem. Um, Benchful Revenant. I've used that mod so much now, and it's like, uh, <laughs> you know, I mean, I'm glad I have it because, dude, farming Vengeful Revenant is a pain in the ass. <laughs> All right, pain in the ass. Cell combustion beam. All right, I'm just gonna say max crash course 200, max redirection. I was gonna say 80 because obviously it's an uncommon mod, but since it's maxed out, it has value, and at the same time, you know, max shield. So, yay. <laughs> but he's selling bite for 50. He wants to buy the Trinity Prime systems. He wants to buy the blueprint 15 plat. Uh, Latron Prime set. Fleeting expertise. I'm going to see if I can try and get this dude. What's his name? His name is Ryder Fitz. Fleeting. Expertise. He wants to get transient fortitude. 10 plat. <laughs> uh, I already know fleeing expertise is like dude I could say no thank you but since he just put that there for 10 I'm not even going to give him a response he wants to buy lenses alter chaos Narman lens he's what 5 plat each I think I have at least 2 so, I could just give that to him. That is, you know, if he wants it. So, and today is Sunday too. So, it's not like one of them days where people just going to keep coming out of nowhere. I'm going to, let me see. I, I'm going to say I have two. I believe I have two. Yeah, I'm going to leave the dojo while doing this. Because, like I said, you know, if, depending on how much he wants... Because I have two, and, that, and the thing about it is, yesterday, I got in the lens. So, let me see. I believe I have two. Say he wants the Narman lens. Oh, shit, I only have one. Okay. So, I'm just going to tell him. I'm just going to say, my bad, I have one. So instead of the 10, he may just say 5, because obviously he had the thing say 5 plat each. Uh, max Prime Continuity, Glaive Set. Want to trade for Berserker mod? <laughs> he got kicked. And also, what you can do, like I said in my in my last video about how to get free plat you could do this see I'm on west I should have been on east so you could just do that switch regions and then go at it like this you know he wants to buy armored agility I'm gonna see if I can get this dude what's his name dudes right there armor I was gonna say armor agility put that there See, I only have one left. He hasn't responded back to me. He probably wants more than one lens, so forget that. Move on. He wants to buy Firequake, Iron 
He wants to buy uh, Arcane Trickery. He's selling. It's cool. Like I said, I'm buying all Narman lenses, at least five plat each. Five plat each. Okay, I'll give it to you. Five plat. I was gonna say, send invite to Dojo, please. I'm just gonna have it like that, and at the same time, I'm still gonna be looking through the trading. So. <laughs> it's the it's a lens, five plat. Eh, so what? For me, it really doesn't even matter anymore since how much plat I even have. So it's not something that it's like yo, I'm going all out to try and get a whole bunch of freaking plat. But okay, he just gives me question mark. He said he wanted to buy our agility, but now he gives me question mark. Um. Anyone have near roads? He means near roads. He wants to buy a prime economy 15 plat. Yeah. Want to buy heavy cow rank max. He wants to buy it max rank. That's pretty much what he's saying. Selling frost prime set. Rendering strike max. Alright, he sent me invite to dojo. So I'm just going to go into his dojo. Collect this 5 plat. <laughs> uh... Obviously, this video is not going to be like my last one where i gotten, like, a cumulative. I could have had an accumulative of at least 150 to 200 plat. But at least you're seeing the process again, you know, of going through this trading experience. Of, oh, wow. Hit my freaking keyboard. Experience of trying to get, um, you know, plat. So let me just go to his dojo. I thought I had another Nerman lens, though. I thought I had two, but I'll still give him this one because as far as the lenses goes, I pretty much have the lenses that I need on some of the frames that I use mostly. And I'm still getting a number of freaking focus, so it's still fine. Alright, so I'm just going to wait till I fully load in. Alright, load. <sighs> oh shit, I actually ran right past the fool. Okay. Okay, you're just gonna do that. I'm here for business. You say you want the lens? Come. <laughs> um, focus lens. You say what the Norman. There you go. Put the lens there. He puts the fire plat. Go through the trade process. And. He just puts a fusion core. I might well argue. But I'm getting plat and cores. So. I'm going to get that. I'm going to say why you give me a core. <laughs> I'm just a. Just a Watch, as soon as his answer is gonna be funny. Usually you get stuff like that, someone will give you plat and then at the same time they'll throw something in and you just be baffled as to why. But you know, it, it's so funny, so you know. Alright, he just pretty much And he's like I think he left the dojo. So I may be stuck in host migration here because of this shit. I didn't anticipate this to happen. <laughs> oh, man. Yeah, see? Obviously, the connection to us. Ah, oh, yeah, so he pretty much just left. So, it really doesn't matter. But. 
Now that I'm flat five plat richer, let's go back into the trading thing. Keep going with the process. Um, he doesn't know. <laughs> what? He say he doesn't know. Whatever, man. <laughs> let's move on. He just gave it to me just for the sake of giving it to me. Maybe it's because he wanted the lens and he finally got it. He just got that generous. He's like, okay, I'm just giving this to you. But, okay, I got a fusion core out of it. Um, yeah. So, let me see. I'm going to put this in there just to let people know I'm still selling it. And at the same time, I'll put this in. Burst and Prime set. And Bright and Prime set. And I'm going to still just go look through the trading thing. He wants to buy Max Heavy Cal and Max Oration in the same trade. Max Sweet Expertise, High Voltage and Rhyme Rounds. Prisma Dual Cleavers, 30 Plat each. Temple Royale. Arcane Pendragon. Helmet. He wants to buy a Crash Course 60 plat with Heavy Cal, Narrow Minded, and Prime Continuity. Intrigued, but no, because of that Crash Course. You ain't getting it for 60 plat, bro. Um, Prime Continuity, want to buy Impact Set. There's a lot of people that wants to sell more than buy. So, like I said, you gotta be patient. Uh, to do, 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 Vulpin Mask. If I had an extra one, I would have just given it to him for like at least 30 plat. <laughs> um, Nova Prime Systems. Crash Course 150. <laughs> no thank you. Yet again, people try to get it for 150. Like I said, I'm playing chess, not checkers. Tony wants to get that. Tony W. Brayton Prime Set. So he tells me how much. <laughs> 200 plat. Max rank. Since he wants to know the damn price. And then he'll be stubborn and be like, oh, rank doesn't matter. If you get those type of messages, then obviously people are just that stupid. And, Ooh, 40 plat. Okay. I'll invite. I'm gonna say I'll invite you. Deal. So look at that. This is the Brayton Prime. People rarely use this weapon. Even though it's a good weapon, people rarely use it. He puts down 40 plat. Now, normally, Brayton Prime set usually goes for like at least 20 tops. So. If I can complete this trade, I'm going to get an additional 20 plat out of it. So, it's like, you know, like I said, he's going to give me 40 for it. So, it's like I said, if I could get this trade and pull this off. T, no thanks. I only have 150, but thanks anyway. Okay, fine. No problem. <laughs> At least I know where his intentions are. At least he told me, you know, he only had 150, so he says 150. So, move move right along. I'm going to send Tony this um, invitation to my dojo. Get 40 plat for a Brayton Prime set. So, you're seeing w what I'm talking about here. He said he wanted to buy it. I just put that in there. And then he just puts 40. I didn't give, I didn't say offer, I didn't do nothing. All I said is Brayton Prime set. And I didn't give him no offer, I just left it open for him. So as soon as he starts to move, let's get on with the trade. Now, Brayton Prime. And the blueprint there. You get the pieces. Barrel. Receiver. And stock. There you go. So now he puts 40 plat down. I readied up. Let him know that I'm ready to trade. 
I have this set for him. He readies up. 40 plat is there. Check. Complete. Boom. Right there. 40 plat. For a Brayton Prime set. So I'm going to say to him, thank you very much. You know. And then I could just go right back to the whole trade. And so he says thanks. I'm just going to say to him, no problem. You know. And I'm just going to close the tab. He wants to buy a Trinity Prime set for 105 plat. I could also do this. I want to sell Nyx. Nyx Prime set 50. You know, just put a set price in there. I could just left it open, but Nyx is roughly 50 and above now. He wants to buy Latron. Need Nessa set. What do you need? So he's looking for like a trade because he didn't say he had plat. So, want to buy Frost Blueprint? He wants to buy the Soma receiver. I need to do some more T2 survivals though. So, if, if I could stock up on Soma Prime receivers, it would be really good because that shit with the stuff they put in T2 survival, obviously with the Trinity Prime chassis and all the whole nonsense. Yeah, the Soma Prime receiver is going to be worth a good bunch. Crash Course 60, Rhino Prime Set 60. I could just give him my last one, but you know, I want to have an extra blueprint before I decide to sell a Rhino Prime Set. So, you know, I'm just going to let that pass. There's obviously more opportunities for me to sell Rhino. Um, Vulpin Mask, he wants to trade. He wants to buy Rhino. He wants to buy Rhino Prime set for 60. August Strike, high voltage. See, people want people in buying now. Now, Vengeful Revenant. You know, people want to get that. Impact set, 275. So, you know, you just got to keep looking. You got to keep looking. You got to be patient with it. Because you never know. The moment you decide to be like, oh, I'm tired with the patience, you know, I'm going to go and do something. Someone may just put down they want to buy something and they put so much plat down that you'll be like, damn, I should have hit that dude up. I should have stayed on a little bit longer. I probably would have had this amount of plat on me. And, you know, it just keeps going. Um, What else? Ash System. If I had another one, I would have given it to him. T3 Survival. Prime Pistol Gambit. Anyone have Energy Siphon. Orthos Prime Blade. Want to buy a Crash Course. 300. Silent Assassin. Silent Assassin. Crash Course. You see? He want to buy Crash Course 300. I don't know if I could hit this dude up in time. I saw it. I went after him. So I don't know if he'll respond to me with the quickness, but he puts 300 down right there. So it depends now if he sees me quick enough or not. And at the same time, I'm already in the dojo. So if he says deal, I'll send him an invite right quick. And he's currently offline. He just got off. Fine. Whatever. I think if you see something like that, he, his connection may have gotten off. Or he just put that there, turn off his thing, and, you know, probably want to do whatever. Fine. Whatever. Move right along. Volp. He spelled Volpin. <laughs> That's wrong. He spelled Volpin wrong. Um, Pummel. That's for the secondaries, I believe. Let me see how much he wants pummel. I don't know if he'll do the same thing like that other dude did, but as yeah, you never know. I may send him to the hills with this, but let me see. I'm just gonna test him with 250 just to see. 
Um, cause pummel, I really don't even use pummel, unless for a couple other weapons. But at, for since the crit mods drop prime ones, I just like mm -mm, don't need to bother with it. And he says 150. Mm -mm, not bothering with it. Cause it's one of the impact mods that ha obviously come in the set. So if he puts 150, then you know what? Fuck it. <laughs> Fuck it. Move on. He's selling Loki for 80. Another host migration. This is probably like one of the curses of being in the dojo because of the host migration thing. Obviously for me, it's not bad because I'm not trading nothing with someone at the moment. So, yeah, it's not fucking nothing up for me. So, as soon as I establish back connection back into the dojo, I'm just going to keep looking at the trading. But, at least you get to see that I pretty much made 45 plat. Obviously, I sold the lens. And, I would see, obviously, the thing just went off. Alright. I sold the lens for 5. Got 40 for the Brayton Prime set. And at the same time, I got Bolto Prime Receiver, the Loki Prime Chassis, and the Blueprint for the Narrow Minded that I gave away in a trade. So, fine. Mm, Ash Prime Helmet. Vengeful Revenant. Orthos Blueprint. Nova Systems. Bursting Prime Blueprint. He wants to buy Trinity Prime for 40. Ha! <laughs> Wanna buy Ankriel's Blade. You know. You just gotta keep looking. You gotta be patient, like I said, with this. Because you're not just gonna come in there and then expect someone to throw some a huge number of plat on something that you have. And at the same time, you got other stuff that you wanna sell in order to get plat yourself. So, you gotta keep um, looking. Vulpin Mask. Excavation. No, thank you. Again, no, thank you. They'll keep spamming. And at the same time, I'll message them and be like, yo, stop spamming. Or else I'll just ignore you. Sidenoid, Sidana. Sidenoid, Sidana. See, Palmo 100. See, he said 150 for me, but now he's trying to get Palmo for 100. Again, people will try and lowball the hell out of mods that they know are worth more than what you're putting down. So, he said, want to buy Rage mod cheap. <laughs> Define cheap when it comes to Rage. What's his name? French Turkey? I was going to say Rage. If he says five plat, I'm just going to freaking close the tab. <laughs> there ain't nothing cheap when it comes to rage if you're trying to um, build for, you know, some of these frames that are that is necessary to put rage on. So. Santi Tigris. That's another weapon that you could use to get plat. Just get it off of this one of the, um, the syndicates. Anytime I'm trying to do something, it doesn't even matter if I'm doing this or whatnot. I just get hit with so much stuff that it's like, man, I can't do shit. Rhino Prime Blueprint. Crossing Snakes for Dual Swords. <laughs> Loki Chassis. Obviously, I just got the stupid Chassis. Brayton Prime. Wait, what the hell? He's selling that? Well done. He is not making any sense. These are one of the things that I, it's a good thing he put that there to touch on. I'm going to say, you selling or buying? You selling Brayton Prime Set or buying? Because he's, he's not being specific enough. So I'm just going to put that there. Because look, he just said Brayton Prime 325 full set. He must be selling. 
And I don't think someone is that stupid to throw away 325 plat for a weapon that people rarely use, even though it's primed. I'd rather use it against the, the lower to medium, you know, level enemies. Ventral Revenant, Loki. He's selling Legendary Core and Arcane. Temple Royale, Fang Fuselade, Transient Fortitude, the Blind Rage, Argon Scope Mod. It's not out for console yet. <laughs> Latron from Set, Ember. You know, you may see some ridiculous stuff, and you may see stuff that are reasonable in the train thing. You have to expect the unexpected when it comes to this, but. You got to keep your eyes open. You got to be on your P's and Q's with this because, you know, you don't want to get caught off guard and at the same time miss out on something that you could have possibly got. Uh, let me see. I think I could probably still sell the thing that I pretty much have. Let me see. Next prom set. Great in prom set. Bursting prime set. Just gonna put that in there. Where is it? Yeah, okay, it's right there. Alright, so I'm gonna let that sit there while I'll still look on here. He didn't message me, so obviously he's just acting stupid. He wants to buy armored. What's his name? Filthy? Filthy Melicans. Armor Agility. Obviously, I saw him a tad late, but, you know, I must still message him because you never know. He says offer. I'm just going to put 20 plat. He may say no thank you or he may say deal. It really doesn't matter as long as I give him a price on it. Keep looking through the trading thing. He's selling the ortho set. He wants to buy Master Thief. What's his name? Craze? Master Thief. Max. I gotta let him know it's maxed out so he doesn't have to bother ranking it, ranking it up. So, yeah. He didn't message me, so forget him. Move on. Final Heartbringer. Vectus. That's another thing I could have put in the thing too. Next Prime set. Well, I got rid of the T. Um, Vectus. Prime set. Did he message me? No. Someone got to him. That's fine. Dual Cleavers. Prime Continuity. I could just go to him and ask how much, you know, T O. All right, prime continuity. Just gonna put that in there just to see where his mind is at. Obviously, he may be just like the rest, trying to get it for less. He wants to buy maxeration. Soma receiver. Oh, the now the prime wing five play. <laughs> you know, I ain't mad at that, because you know what? Arc wing, nobody cares. Even though that's prime, no one really cares. So, just <laughs> so gotta move on. Alright, you messaged me. See? You see? <laughs> I was right. Like I said, just like everyone else, template and prime parts, please. I'm not even gonna message him. Move on. Fang Fuse Slade. Uh, rifle Ammo Mutation. So, you just gotta keep doing this. It's, it's a good thing I'm showing you this, man. I mean, you know, it's not the most appealing thing, but when it comes to plat, you're gonna have to go through this process if you wanna sell the stuff that you have. And since I have so much stuff, I'll just sell the stuff that I really wanna sell. If I sell them, I'll close the tab, I'll move on. But, 
for the sake of the video, I'm going through this just to show you guys what it's all about. So, I'm just going to close the tab right here. The videos come down to a close. But at least you get to see that I have sold a Bray Improm set for 40 plat. Sold a lens for 5. So pretty much I made 45 plat. And I got a trade where I sold my narrow-minded and I got back the blueprint. Loki Chass is a Boltor Prime receiver. The receiver was the clincher because I'm saving myself a T4 survival key in process to try and get that stupid thing. So now since I have it, I could use it for future reference as far as with me trying to sell the Boltor Prime set. And also, in case y'all wondering how much plat I obviously have now... As you can see, there goes my platinum number right there. So, this is not me BSing you thinking, you know, I'm doing a crap ton of stupid shit to try and get this amount of plat. And at the same time, I sold the 16 Frost Prime sets in order to get close to this accumulative number. And at the same time in the process, I sold Jolt for 250 and... My third Frost Prime set that I was selling, I actually sold that for 600 So, with that being said, that's how much plat I have. That's the Loki with the freaking skin on, and he looks freaking awesome. So, I hope this video covers what you need to know as far as to how to get, uh, how to get platinum free, easy. And this is obviously part two. So, without further ado, you know, I'll catch y'all later, man. Peace out.